at silkcarry.com. We got Jacob here too, and we are speaking with Chad Enos from Caltech. Yeah, yes, sir. Thanks for coming by, guys. Yeah. Tell us, tell us what you got to do here. What's here, Chad? Yeah. So this, uh, it seems a, a bit absurd and over the top, but uh, that's that's what Caltech does. You know that. You know, right. We're we innovators. Love you. We yeah. love you for it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually a half inch shorter uh, than an 870. Your, your tactical 870. This is called the KSG 25. It holds a box of shells. So I love your, that. Your I arm, love that. Your arm's gonna be worn out by the time you get to the end. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like a standard KSG, same operating system, same pump action, the whole nine yards. It's just got an extended tube uh, and barrel, and then of course we got this heat shield on here that we'll probably play around with, so that you can actually add some attachments. If you want to put a flashlight on it, for instance, something like that. Sure. Uh, it'll come standard with the in-bus sights. Uh, we're talking about possibly um, having it come out of the box with the magpul grip as well. So you can just pull it out, take it straight to range, and. Uh, Literally have a lot of fun, you know? yeah. but it holds uh, 25 and two and three quarter, and if you use the mini shells, 41. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of rounds. It is, so it's a lot of fun. Right? Now, is there a uh, removable, removable choke? You can actually buy one of our choke adapters off our website. It okay. takes standard wind chokes. Wait, so you can make this a, a legit blaze gun or something? You know? Sure. You're good. The length of barrel here. And that would just be all day fun, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. And we, and we actually had a couple guys, uh, they take them out to, to do uh, sporting plays, you know? And it's so funny when we show up, it was like, oh, yeah, they got their $5,000 Berettas and everything else out there, $10,000 guns. And we show up with a tactical shotgun with an 18 inch barrel. <laughs> One of our guys shoots in the 90s, in the high 90s, every time. Yeah, yeah so it, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, these guns are versatile, they do a lot of stuff. When do you think these are going to hit the shelves? Anyway, Originally, we planned on building this uh, specifically for our European friends that needed an overall length uh, requirement. Uh, and then we were looking at it, we're like, well, might as well make them domestically as well. So we brought it out here just to show you guys and see if we can get any interest. And so far, it's all been positive feedback. Uh, so we'll probably do about 5,000 of these uh, this year. And then if the demand keeps up, then we'll just keep building them and add it as another SKU or our, uh, our product line. So yeah, it's retail price, what? 1400 yeah. well, That's very yeah, yeah. So. And so keep in mind that will come with the sights, and, and uh, I think we're going to do the grip as well. So you literally pull it out of the box, you're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, a second ago, before we turned the camera on, I, I heard you describe to somebody as the anti aircraft uh, version. And so yeah. if, if you like shooting shotgun, this this is going to be your gun. It's something to keep in shell. A whole box yeah. of shells. I mean, yeah, how do you go wrong? Just pull out the box and dump it in. I mean, it'll take just, you as uh, long really to load cool. it as it does to shoot it. I mean, so we, that, that's part of it. We had to balance that out. You know? Yeah, that's right. That's the game. Now, what else do we got this new? Yeah. Right, if I grab this one? Yeah, the weight's all free. Swap you there. Sure. Ah, tell us about this now, this, guy. Is, this is where it gets really exciting for me. I mean, I, I, I love the standard RDB. It's got a 17.3 inch barrel. Um, as you guys know, anybody that's you know, heard of the RDB wants one. Uh, now this is a, a tactical version of that. So uh, the difference is it's got a 16 inch barrel. This particular one's got a, a, a like a pencil profile barrel so to, uh, to keep the weight down on it. But I think we're actually gonna go with a standard weight and just flute it. So we can pull some, uh, you know, pull some ounces out of it to keep it nice and light. Um, we've added this uh, aluminum handguard that's got M-lock slots on it. So, uh, you know, the might preferred. Right, so the issue with the uh, the polymer for it was there was really nowhere to, to put any accessories. Again, flashlight, you know, identify your target, all that stuff. Um, so we had the rail on the bottom so you can you can put your uh, vertical grips and angle grips and stuff like that, but nothing anywhere else. So we're like, well, we need to do something uh, for guys that want to put stuff on their guns that, that need it forever. So we came out with a little more Yeah? Yep, absolutely. Well, this is a lot lighter than you think. Uh, yeah. I mean, you, you yeah. definitely tell. And keep in mind, you've got full full size optics. Yeah, we got optics on here. We're ready to yeah. rock. I mean, it's it's just. So look, look at how small this gun is, right? You know, it's 26.1 with the yeah. stock extended, 25 with it collapsed, and you can still turn and reach 300, 400 yards, no problem. Yeah. Right. It's got a full length barrel. Yeah, we were shooting an RDB at uh, American Marksman, and uh, it's a great little gun. Yeah. Yeah, very good. I shooter. heard you guys were pretty successful out there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, everybody shot very well. It was, yeah. it was really good competition. <laughs> yeah, we were happy to be a part of that. And then I think I saw a survival rifle over here. Yeah, there's a survival version. Oh, of that. let's grab that. Yes. Check that. Here. Oh, this is interesting. It's literally this like pulling really, out of cold dead hands around. This really caught my eye. 
Uh, yes. I didn't know what it was at first. So this is the exact same gun as that one, only right. with the polymer for it. Obviously, you can feel a little bit of a weight difference, uh, you know, smaller and lighter optic on it. But it's also got comes with uh, flip ups on here. So you don't necessarily need the red dot on here. I just threw it on here because uh, I love Vortex. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, so this this has got a cross bolt style safety. Obviously, you know, pistol grip, so it's a little bit of uh, different ergonomics. It looks awkward at first, but every time someone picks it up, it just feels natural in the hand. So that, that is a plus. Super lightweight barrel. Obviously, very compact, and this is supposed to be for um, its purpose is survival. Backpack gun. Also, well, that stock. Stock. I want to see how yeah. short that thing overall is there. Well, the stock. Yep. There you go. I mean, look at that. And again, it takes standard AR-15 mags, you know, so... So, I mean, this is the uh, RDB Survival, RDB, RDB Platform 223, and, I mean, that's that's just crazy. And you're right, I, I was a little skeptical at first putting that in the hand, but it works. It feels very natural. Yeah. yeah. So for, for a lot of hunters, got a bolt gun guys, you know, that hunt that, you know, that feels very natural for them. And that's, and that's sort of the market, you know, uh, right. not necessarily hunters, but guys that like to backpack. Yeah. Right. They need something super small and light to go in their pack. Yeah. There it's you go. doable. So, very yeah. doable. Absolutely. Great. Well, well, Chad, thank you so much for your time. Of course. Thank you. Have a great show. All right. All right. I mean, thank you. And we thank you for your support of American Marksman. Of course. Yeah, we'll continue to do that. I really, really had a blast. Thanks, guys.